So I think it was 14 vials of blood taken today to that run off insane. some samples, see what's Normally going on. Normally he's dramatic, but I have seen a picture. It's the real, real deal. Hello and good morning everyone. We are so excited that you're here with us. And I know that you're all like, okay, this is more than Mindy we know. Totally not ready in the morning, ready for my workout, instead of like having my hair all done and all that stuff. <laughs> it's a typical morning here. It's a Monday morning, getting the kids ready for school. Oh, Brexy, there's a bunch of flowers in front of your face. There you are. Woke them up. We did a big Costco haul the other day. This morning when I was getting them up, I said, tell me what you'd like me to make you. And they both said bagels. They love, love, love the bagels. Made Ryler a bagel with cream cheese today. Just waiting for that boy to come down and he always comes down just right in the nick of time. Casey's already ready. She ran up to go brush her teeth. Getting ready for another week back to school and you guys I got an email this week from Brexton's teacher and it was like the midterm check-in. I was like how are we already halfway through the third term already? Like it's just wild to me before we know what these kids are gonna be getting out of school for summer. I know that sounds crazy to say but I'm realizing as I get older time flies way faster than it used to. I mean I'm not gonna complain. I really want to enjoy our pool so I would love for summer to come quicker this year. Summer is still very very far away. Brandon is out there with the snow blower again. Everyone just says Utah needs the water and we really truly do. I've about had it up to here with the snow. Or is that just how far the snow is up to? I can't tell. Either way, we've gotten a lot of snow this year. It's good. We really do need it. That way we can have green grass this summer and enjoy a great summer. At least we're in the month of February. We're done with January. Kirby, your backpack's not in here. I'm on major home lunch duty this week because as I was going through the menu at school last week, we order our lunches a week ahead of time. I was looking at it and I was like, I don't know if like one kid's gonna like that. I don't know that one kid's gonna like that. If one kid won't like it, I just have them all do home lunch. It's hard to remember, okay, Tuesday, Hazy has home lunch. Wednesday, Brexton and Hazel have home lunch. It's just a lot to remember. If the menu items look kind of iffy. I just go straight home lunch. Thankfully, we did that huge Costco haul last week. We have everything and the kids are well stocked. They're well fed. They're gonna have a great lunch today. Today we did turkey and cheese on those little Hawaiian sliders. Harry has, Harry? Who's Harry? Hazy has strawberries and raspberries. And then we added in those really fun Lay's baked chips. You should have great lunch today. Tons of snacks, tons of yummies. Oh, crew just went down and got some body armor to take to school. Can I take one? Ooh, guess that's okay. Brush your teeth. Mm -hmm. But you guys, crew's wearing a new shirt because he, I think, is starting to grow this way. I think crew is growing. So his shirts were getting a little short on him. You notice some of his joggers are running a little bit shorter, but joggers I feel like that's kind of cool looking. Mm -hmm. Anyways, you guys, he's in the men's department now. Finally. Picked him up some new shirts and he looks super snazzy for school today. Thanks. I'm Andy. confused. Did you roll in the snow or so, did you? It's really light, fluffy stuff. So as it comes out of the snowblower, it just blew right back on me the whole time. Oh my god. So it was like Your soaking. Your pants are soaking wet. Yeah, I might have to go change. But weren't we just celebrating that the snow had melted and that we could see and we're putting oh. cool loungers downstairs and look at us, it's almost spring. Psych! Utah does this. It well, it teases you. This isn't really necessarily Utah. I think it was us being way overly anxious because it's February. I don't know, I've got my, <laughs> got a, my spring colors on today. we got a lot of winter left. <laughs> love you, Dad. Love you, I promise I shoveled. Kind of icy, so be a little bit careful. Love you. Bye, love you, love you, love you. I don't know if you were checking out the Instagram. Was that on Mindy's Best? The protein energy snacks you've been making? Yes. Unbelievable. I have had more than is considered healthy, but they are that good. You had your hand in the cookie jar. I've had my hand in the cookie jar having multiple cinnamon chip protein energy monster amazingness. Very yummy. Yeah, so check it out, guys. They're really yummy. At Mindy's Best. Way to go me. Insanely good. But that's what mom's been doing. High five. Crushing the kitchen. Yes. The other thing she's been doing is bugging me incessantly. Nagging you. <laughs> what I do best. That is Mindy's Just Best. Just doing my best. She is the best <laughs> at nagging. No, at taking care of me. Making sure that I am taking care of myself. I keep telling Brandon, I'm like, 
Go to the hospital, you man. You are a priority. <laughs> Please treat yourself as such. Yeah. He just doesn't. I don't love going to doctors, dentists, anything like that. Why? If you guys recall, a little while back, it was one of the things that it got so bad, my eye started off kind of like red, and it was like, I don't know if it got swollen or whatever. Still wouldn't go in, wouldn't go in. I was like, it'll go away, it'll go away. Got some eye drops, it'll go away. Eventually, I couldn't see out of the eye, and I was like, okay, that's a little concerning. So I finally went in. Well, as part of that, able to see an eye specialist, there was a little bit of like panic initially when I went in there. Thought maybe I was losing my eyesight on the spot, which I was like, oh, I didn't he's know that like was possible. He's like kind of <laughs> laughing about it, but he's being very serious. They took him back. Brandon just sitting there in the room, just like waiting for them to come. He overheard the doctor say, this is an emergency. He needs to get to the eye doctor today. Yeah. Like right now. Like if they have an appointment in the next 30 minutes. And I was just like, wait, what? Brandon texts anyway. me, I'm trying to be strong, but I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> I think I'm losing my vision and that's tough to do vlogs. Anyway, so went to the eye specialist, found out it was uveitis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, apparently way too much I, tanning. I, Fake bacon. I just <laughs> no, it's not that at all. <laughs> Something to do with the eye. It's, it can be it can be dangy. It's uh, swelling in the eyeball and the pupil, the retina. I don't know. Anyways, what it can also indicate though is some precursors of other things like autoimmune disorders. There were some other ones that were like pretty serious. Yeah. But the only way to find out is to run some blood tests. And so they ordered up some blood tests and they actually are sending me to the hospital to get a chest scan. I don't know how it's related to my eyeball. I'm gonna go get the blood work on the chest scan. Now they gave me this order January 10th. I just saw the paperwork. It's not a minute yet. So, <laughs> so you guys, that's a lot of nagging. That's a little bit of nagging on and off. It always seems like when you bring it up, I'm like, oh, it's not a great time. And she brought it up today. I was like, literally like perfect opportunity to go. Ooh, Got no. a good gap of time. That's actually not what he said. He goes, oh, I just don't have time today. Like, when are we going to do that? We're going to our nephew's basketball game. I was like, well, you have a good chunk of a few hours there. We he goes, like, today's from, not a good day. We're actually from noon to two. And I was like, well, that's not what I want to do from noon to two. Get blood work and a chest scan to the hospital. So it's fun. Maybe they'll give you a sucker. I'm a good boy. However, having had some people go in, getting some tests done, finding things, just people in our lives, you never know what you're going to go in and find out. So I'm like, I would be so mad at myself if I waited, like I have in the past, until it's a root canal, until it's an emergency eye appointment, waited until something, and they go, oh, if you had only come in and got some blood work drawn back on January 10th, could have totally got this taken care of. So mom's a great nagger, doing her best. I'm a slow listener. Now I'm not going in the car with you. Are you for sure going there and not going to the gas station and getting <laughs> I might stop right on now? the way and get a gas station McRib because they're really good. <laughs> <laughs> a riblet sandwich. <laughs> Really worried about my health here, guys. Oh okay. my gosh, that's so <laughs> disgusting. He eats them. He really does. <laughs> I've returned home successfully from the hospital. I'm gonna give you a quick rundown. Did you go to Maverick or did you go to the hospital? I went to the gas station to get one of those rib sandwiches and they were either out or they hadn't put them out yet. That was kind of a bad start to the whole thing. Did go to the hospital, quick rundown of everything that happened there. I had to do the blood work as well as the chest x-ray. And so they asked me when I come in, is this related to an accident? And I was like, no. Even they were kind of just like, it's a pretty thorough workup here. Like what's going on? Are you everything oh, okay? Really? Blood work, she said it was like twice the normal amount she does. So How it was like, was I think it? it was nine vials. Shut up, are you faint? <laughs> she <laughs> I a rib sandwich. I'll be fine. I thought... She said they usually do like three or four. I was gonna say three is what I thought they did. It was a ton. Like, wow, it was pretty extensive. Nine vials. So it was, yeah, it was pretty crazy. Yeah, right here. Oh my gosh, Boom. you have a wristlet. But yeah, I was gonna say, like, I'm full blown. Like, I've got like the whole wristband. They had to scan that to get my chest x-rays. Then when I do the chest x-ray, I go up to this thing and I like I hug it, like I bear hug it. You have to breathe in, hold your breath, whatever. Here's the craziest thing. So, first of all, thank you for getting me to go do that. Find out they said the x-ray will be over into the doctor's hands in about an hour. Blood results take a little bit longer. Um, the time it gets to your doctor, he's gonna be like, wait, Brandon Bingham. Who Brandon, was, who that, was again? that again? I don't know. I saw him last year. You were trying to get me to get in there to like preventatively find any anything that might be going on. Listen to this story. X-ray technician, I was telling him how you've been bugging me and, and making me go do this stuff. And I was like, I don't even know what it's for, but I'm just doing what I'm told. So I gave him the paper and he's like, you know what? You never know what you're gonna find. He was going through technician school and as they were practicing ultrasounds, oh, no. the person who he was paired up with was practicing an ultrasound on his throat and found cancer, a massive tumor. So he literally through just doing some practice X-rays or practice, what do you, what do you call them, ultrasounds, oh, found that, God. discovered him it. going to school quite literally saved, saved his, life. his life. Had it removed, had a scar right there, showed it to me. Had it removed. He's in remission. And I was like, dude, wait, what? You guys were like just messing around. She's like, hey, can I practice one of these? Get ready for the quiz coming up. Oh Let me just gosh. check this out. And she's like, uh, I'm new at this, but I'm pretty sure I just found something and literally found cancer. So you never know. You go in, you do these things, you know, who knows why you're in the place that you are, when you are, who knows if the eye could be nothing. It My could guess be is nothing, that it's nothing. But they, they did say that usually what he had with his eyes, a byproduct of something else. So he could have an autoimmune. It could be honestly nothing serious. You just never know. Holy cow. Better safe than sorry. Got it all done. So boom, check that off. Check, check, check. Finally. Even took a picture of all the vials so that you'd believe me that I actually went there. <laughs> we had just enough time for me to come home so we can go know, together we to go pick up the kids. Pool. Headed off to see Turbo's game today. We've never seen one of his junior high games in person. Seen tons of videos, seen a lot of clips of it, but we're gonna go witness it in person. Should be a lot of fun taking the whole family. Mine is Hazy. She's headed off to the Rebellies oh, for some dance. dance. So don't stuff. forget the dance bag. Let's head to the school, get the kids, go watch some basketball. Do it.
back from the basketball game. So much fun Did watching awesome. Turbo crush it out there. It's just weird to me to watch these kids who were kids now look like the size of men. Like my brother Justin walked out on the court and he was not even taller than all of them. I was like, dude, when does that happen? When these kids become men? It just like happens. It just happens. It's eight months to a year period that they just totally Keep change. Going. It's a lot of fun. And then get this guys, our kids went right from that game to the game for their school, to the girls basketball game and Braxton went. He had so that much fun. So cute. He had so much fun at this game cheering with crew. They were in the student section just having a ton of fun. They said they're going to go to their school's game. Braxton was like, I want to come too. I was like, how cool is that? It's so awesome. But, but here, Brandon, you need to clarify. I don't know what? if he's being dramatic. He did show me a picture. It was not nine vials It was of blood. Like, uh, I think in total 14. In the picture or video I took, there's 11. Those ones were like vacuum pulled. Like it's a little vacuum thing that pulls the blood from my vein. But then she had to fill three more with a vial because it's a different type of a tube that doesn't yeah, holy have the cow. vacuum. So I think it was 14 vials of blood taken today to that run off insane. some samples. See what's Normally going on. Normally he's dramatic, but I have seen a picture. It's the real, real deal. Yeah, I know. that's a lot. I cannot believe that. Chest x-ray, I think they sent over. I don't know what they're looking for. I think they're looking at my lungs. I was thinking it was like my bones, but he was specifically looking at my lungs. He had me yeah. like do certain things so I could see my lungs. He's like, you got really tall, long lungs. So we had to move the x-ray machine a couple times. He's like, that's a good thing. But it's like, it's hard to get them all in the picture. <laughs> you know, me and my lungs. <laughs> also, got to say this bad boy right here, my little hospital fan, getting me some serious attention at the oh game. My gosh. And then we actually went to the bank after, and even at the bank, they're like, ooh, the hospital today? That's pretty serious. At the game today, everyone's like, oh, what, is everything okay? I That's know. a hospital wristband. I just hate how orange this is. I literally hate it. Like, I want to, like, maybe do some kind of a different <laughs> thing. You need to put that at the end. <laughs> the it's so yeah, yeah. orange. Let's go over here instead. Bye, we're going to put that in the vlog. Mom cooking up another dinner from our Costco haul. Yeah. Those giant slabs of ham. <laughs> Whatever you want to call those. Ham slab. <laughs> slab of ham. You gonna make a fun, what is it breakfast? Are we doing that? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do. We also bought a case of those dehydrated potatoes, so you just add water. It's kind of fun when we have a fresh haul trying out some of the things that are new. It's I've fun had those to try before, them. But the ham steaks are new. Eggs. But it's kind of hard because we usually go through about a dozen eggs to make our family dinner. That's like I one mean, month's that's... mortgage these days. <laughs> eggs are at an all time premium, I people. Know. They really are. Yeah, we're just gonna do like a breakfast for dinner. Which I think that'd be so good. much fun. Can I eat now? Because I'm really hungry. Have a protein oh, bite. Yes. Can I have a protein bite? Yes. They're I just so took good. Pictures of them all. Oh my did gosh. We, they're did so we good. Did vlog any of that? Is that all on Insta? I'm pretty sure we talked about I it think earlier. It was We're gonna call it a day. Love you. Thanks for hanging. Got a fun, crazy, awesome, amazing week coming up. Just so much goodness. It's such a great time. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we love you guys. We love you. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. I just hate how orange this is. I literally hate it. Like I want to like maybe do some kind of a different thing. You need to put that at the end. <laughs> the it's so yeah. orange. Let's go over here instead. Bye. We're going to put that in the whole vlog.